Another dua, ya ikhwan, is the dua of the per for the person who is ill. When you go and visit somebody, what are some of the etiquettes, ikhwan? Do you, I don't think many of us know the etiquettes of visiting the ill. In our culture, when you go and you visit the ill person, you go to their house, they have to provide you with food. They're going to feed you. You're going to sit there for a long time, talking about X, Y and Z. You're going to engage in all sorts of rubbish. You're not going to talk good speech with them. And then you're going to leave. The etiquette, Ikhwan, of visiting the ill is that when you go, firstly, you either just take something for the, uh, for the family. Yeah, and you don't expect them to feed you. And if they, when you go there, make it clear to them that I don't want anything because you guys are dealing with a sick person. And likewise, when a janaza happens, you know, when a janaza happens in our tradition, the janaza, the per person who's died, his family has to feed everybody else. And la ilaha illallah, your father has just died, your mother has just died, and you're thinking about, uh, what's it called, a puri for 400 people, a thousand people. Completely against the sunnah. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ, he would say to other people that give food to the family of so and so, the one who's just died, give food to his family because they are in need of it. Ikhwani, we, as with everything, we turn the sunnah on its head. Okay, so when you go and you visit that person, what do you need to do? You need to stay for a short space of time. Don't burden that person. He doesn't want to see your face for three hours while you're talking about everybody else's life and he's there dying. He doesn't want to be in that situation. Go there, make it light for him. Go there and give him words of encouragement. The sunnah is to say, لا بأس طهورا inshaAllah. No problem, it's a purification for you inshaAllah. And make dua for him. Asalullah al Azim, Rabb al Arsh al Azim, and Yashfiyak, etc. Make dua for the person who's ill. And also, Ya Ikhwan, from that, as we said, is making dua. And that's one of the times when it is accepted. The Prophet ﷺ said, when you visit a sick person, say good things for the angels, say Ameen to whatever you say. So make dua for your brother when he is ill because the angels say Ameen. Okay? And Ya Ikhwan, you know, who is the wife who her husband died and she made dua and then Allah married her to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Ummi Salama. Ummi Salama radiallahu anha is the wife of the Messenger of Allah Alaihi Salatu Salam. He he came when Abu Salama, the Prophet salam, came when Abu Salama died and she said to, he said to her, say, Oh Allah, forgive me and him and compensate me with something which is better. And so Allah married her to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, so that's when you go, Ikhwani, make dua for the sick person and get them to say Ameen, the, the, Ill, the angels will say Ameen too. Okay.